The Albanian national football team represents Albania in men's international football, and is governed by the Albanian Football Association, the governing body for football in Albania. Albania competes in the three major international football tournaments, the FIFA World Cup, UEFA European Championship and UEFA Nations League. Albania was the winner of the 1946 Balkan Cup and the 2000 Malta Rothmans International Tournament. At Euro 2016, Albania made its second appearance at a major men's football tournament after 50 years. Since its completion in 2019, Arena Combatare, known as Air Albania Stadium for sponsorship reasons, has been the team's home ground. Albania's highest FIFA world ranking was 22nd in August 2015. The colors of the team are red, white and black, and the double-headed eagle its symbol. Its supporters are collectively known as the Tifizet Kizi and display as well as the country's national flag colors, red and black. In 2020, Albania won for the first time a group by finishing first in Group 4 of UEFA Nations League C and has been promoted in UEFA Nations League B. Loro Borisi captain the team in winning the 1946 Balkan Cup. Although it never played any matches, the Albanian national football team existed before the Albanian Football Association was created on June 6, 1930. Albania joined FIFA during a congress held between 12 June and 16 June. Albania played its first international match against Yugoslavia in 1946, which ended in a 3-2 home defeat at Kemalstifa Stadium. In 1946, Albania also participated for the first time in the Balkan Cup in which Albania won by beating Romania 1-0 in the final. In 1954, Albania was one of the founding members of UEFA. Albania waited until 1962 to compete in a Euro Cup competition and the only time Albania was between the best 16 teams of the continent. The reason being Albania got past the first leg as Greece, for political reasons forfeited the game. At the end of the tournament Albania ranked 9th in Europe. Albania participated for the first time in a qualifying phrase of a World Cup in the qualifiers of the 1966 edition in England. The team was drawn in the Group 5 which finished in the last position with only one point from six matches. In the qualifiers, of the UEFA Euro 1968 Albania had a draw 0-0 against West Germany that denied the Germans the participation to the UEFA Euro 1968 finals. In later years, Albania did not participate in the qualifiers of the World Cup 1970, UEFA Euro 1972, UEFA Euro 1976, World Cup 1978 and UEFA Euro 1980 for unknown political reasons. After six years without playing any international matches, Albania entered in the qualifiers of the World Cup 1982, managing to finish in a place other than last for the first time in a qualifying match, with Finland getting last place instead. The qualifiers of the World Cup 1990 were probably the worst qualifier in Albania's history as there were six losses in as many games with no memorable matches. Lorik Kena is Albania's most capped player of all time. He captained the French Olympique de Marseille as well as the team. In the qualifiers of the World Cup 2002, Albania recorded a 2-0 win over Greece which was the only team that they beat during the qualifiers. Albania was able to make some impact in the qualifying of the UEFA Euro 2004 by beating 3-1 Russia at Loro Borisi Stadium. This match was also the debut of the German coach Hans-Peter Briegel who led Albania to an undefeated run at home matches. Despite the good results, Albania finished the group in the penultimate spot with only 8 points. In the qualifiers of the World Cup 2006 Albania recorded some historical results. Two months after Greece beat Portugal to win the European Championship, Albania defeated Greece 2-1. In the qualifiers of the UEFA Euro 2008 Albania won twice in both matches against Luxembourg. Albania also drew 2-2 with Belarus and 0-0 away with Bulgaria. Albania's Euro campaign ended with a 6-1 loss away to Romania which resulted in the resignation of the coach Otto Beric and his assistant. In December 2007, Eri Hahn was named Albania's head coach by signing a two-year contract for the qualifiers of the World Cup 2010, where Albania made a very negative performance by winning only one match. Albania won only 7 points from 10 matches and Hahn was replaced by Josip Kuz in May 2009 following the end of the campaign. However, Kuz couldn't lead Albania to the better results as the team ended the qualifiers of the UEFA Euro 2012 with only 9 points from 10 matches. With Kuz in charge, Albania recorded its second biggest win the history by defeating Cyprus 6-1 at home, equal with Albania's 5-0 victory over Vietnam in 2003. Josip Kuz parted ways with Albania three and a half years after he started the job, and in December 2011, Italian coach Gianni De Biasi replaced him. 
Albania started the qualifiers and was, at one point, second in group with six matches played and four to spare, but failed to be successful in the last four, losing away in Slovenia and Iceland, as well as at home against Switzerland, and drawing in Cyprus. Albania started the qualifiers of the UEFA Euro 2016 with an emphatic 1-0 away win against Portugal, which was followed by a 1-1 draw against Denmark at the newly renovated stadium Elbasan Arena. After beating Armenia 3-0 in the last qualifying match, Albania made history by qualifying for the UEFA Euro 2016, its first ever appearance at a major men's football tournament. In the tournament itself, Albania lost 0-1 to Switzerland and 0-2 to hosts France. While they beat Romania 1-0, the team finished last among the third-place teams and didn't progress beyond the group stage. Following the almost successful UEFA European Championships, Albania suffered massive setback. In 2018 World Cup qualification, Albania failed to qualify and finished in third, which was, however, their best result in history. During this era, their successful manager, Gianni De Biasi, resigned and Christian Panuxai, another Italian replaced him as coach of Albania. However, things were little improved. Albania played poorly in the 2018-19 UEFA Nations League, winning only to Israel 1-0 and lost the remaining three, especially the devastating 0-4 defeat to Scotland at home. Panuxai would be sacked after a 0-2 defeat to Turkey in the opening campaign for the UEFA Euro 2020 qualifying. Another Italian, Eduardo Reja, was appointed to help Albania to improve in a tough group, but improvement is still very little. Albania failed to qualify to UEFA Euro 2020, archiving just a disappointing fourth place. Albania home kit at 2016-17 season. Albania colors are red and black, mirroring the nation's flag. The team typically wears red shirts, black shorts and red socks. Away kits are usually all white, with red and black trim. Construction of Arena Combatair in the city center, 2019 Albania's main stadium for most part of the history was Kemalstifa Stadium located in Tirana. The work started in April 1939 during the Italy regime. The construction lasted for three years but it stopped briefly in August 1943 following the fall of fascist regime. The stadium had an Olympic stadium shape, as idealized by Gerardo Basio, a young fascist architect from Florence, Italy. The stadium's initial capacity was 15,000, this due to the fact that Tirana at that time had only 60,000 inhabitants. It was named after Kemalstifa, a hero of Albania in World War II. The stadium was inaugurated officially on October 7, 1946 when Albania played its first competitive match against Yugoslavia. Ever since then, further 130 international matches took place in the stadium, with the last being a friendly against Georgia in November 2015. In 2005, Cecilia De Marco and Elisabetta LaRusso, Two young Italian students, called the stadium as one of the strongest symbols of Italian impact in Albania. In November 2013, Kemalstifa Stadium was shut down by FIFA for not fulfilling international standards. The stadium's demolition started in June 2016, and it was announced that it is going to be replaced by Arena Combatair. Albania sometimes has played home matches at other venues. Outside Tirana, the national team has played matches in Flamurtari Stadium in Vlora, Tamori Stadium in Berra. Nico Dovana Stadium in Duras, Loro Borisi Stadium in Shkodr and Elbasan Arena in Elbasan. In February 2014, due to Albania not having a stadium that fulfills international standards set by FIFA, the work for renovation of Elbasan Arena started. The work lasted for seven months, and the stadium was inaugurated on 9 October when Albania played a friendly match against KF Elbasani under-19 squad, Albania won the match 17-0. The official inauguration occurred two days later in the UEFA Euro 2016 qualifying match against Denmark. The first international match at Loro Borisi Stadium was played on March 29, 2003 against Russia, with Albania winning 3-1. In October 2014, Prime Minister of Albania, Edi Rama, promised the reconstruction of the stadium. The stadium's construction started in May 2015 and finished in August 2016. In 2016-17, the stadium served temporary as the home of Kosovo national team, due to stadiums in Mitrovica and Pristina were under renovation and did not meet UEFA standards. Kosovo This Derby is otherwise known as Brotherly Derby, also known as the Brotherly. The documented beginnings of this derby date back to the time during the World War II, respectively on November 29, 1942, where they played a friendly match as part of. 
The celebrations for 30th anniversary of the independence of Albania and the match ended with a 2-0 win for Tirana, this derby is back 50 years after the first match. When the Football Federation of Kosovo signed a cooperation protocol with the Albanian Football Association and in the framework of this protocol, it was decided to play on 14th of February a friendly match between these two national teams, and this match ended with a 3-1 win for Albania. During the period before 2016, these two national teams have exchanged players with each other, which influenced these two teams to be called reserve. Teams of each other, Kosovo national team was called Albania B due to many players coming to play for Kosovo as they had no space to play for Albania. While Albania national team was called Kosovo B due to of the large number of players of Kosovo Albanian descent in its composition. These exchanges began to be called acts of treason after Kosovo's membership in UEFA and FIFA, were some Albania players of Kosovo Albanian descent such as Amir Romani, Haroline Shala and Milet Rashika who were part of the plans for the future of the Albania, moved to Kosovo. Serbia This football rivalry between Albania and Serbia is mainly due to historical tensions between the two countries. It has been described one of the fiercest rivalries in the world. During the Euro 2016 qualifying phase, the Serbian crowd were chanting kill, kill Albanians and were throwing flares at the Albanian team, after which there was a clash between the Serbian and Albanian teams. A choreography of Tifozak EZ in the national team's first match at Elbasan Arena against Denmark in October 2014. Tifozak EZ is a non-profit football supporters association for the Albanian national football team and various national team sportive activities. It was founded on December 25, 2003. In cooperation with FSHF, it organizes trips for football fans to visit games, and develops and sells merchandise to support itself and fund sporting-related projects. Tifozat Kizi stands firm in the political view that Albanians should share only one national team and have continuous aspirations to join in one state, i.e. unification of Albania, Kosovo, etc. In this sense, TKZ is joined by different supporters associations throughout Albanian-speaking regions mainly in Kosovo, Shkiponyat of Peja, Kizanjet e Jakovs of Gyakova, Plyset of Pristina, Tersita of Mitrovica, etc., North Macedonia, Ballistet of Tetova, Ilirat of Kumanovo, Shrasarit of Skopje, etc., and in Albania itself, Ultras Gorils of Partizani Tirana, Tirona Fanatics of KF Tirana, Vosna Ultras. Of Vatsnia Shkater, Ujkarit e Dibors of Skenderbu Korch, Shkiponyat of KF Besa Pij, and many other different Albanian fans. The ongoing dispute between the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports and the Football Association of Albania has been seen as a political intrusion by FIFA and UEFA, which led to the banning of Albania from international sportive activities. FSHF President Armand Duca is highly unwanted by the TKZ who have numerously asked for his resignation believing he is responsible for internal corruption in the Albanian Football Association. The TKZ have been praised by many different football players and managers, whom were not just Albanian. One example is with Switzerland's former coach, Otmar Hitzfeld, who was astonished by how many Albanian fans turned up and how enthusiastic they were in 2014. FIFA World Cup qualifying match between Switzerland and Albania where the Swiss won 2-0 thanks to goals from Gukan Inler and Kosovo-born Jordan Shakiri. He didn't believe that there was 12,000 Albanian fans in the stands which was more than how many Swiss fans turned up for the game. He stated that Albanian fans are fantastic and the most passionate fans I have ever seen. During that campaign, TKZ attended all games Albania played apart from a match against Cyprus and Nicosia and were also large in numbers in the away games to Slovenia and Maribor and Norway and Oslo. Albania's qualifying and friendly matches are televised by state-owned Albanian radio television and by privately owned Supersport Albania. Also these matches are broadcast by Kosovo state-owned radio television of Kosovo. Win draw loss Andorra v Albania Albania v England San Marino v Albania Wales v Albania Czech Republic v Albania Poland v Albania Albania v Hungary Albania v San Marino Hungary v Albania Albania v Poland England v Albania Albania v Andorra Spain v Albania Albania v Georgia Albania v Russia Iceland v Albania Albania v Israel Russia v Albania Israel v Albania Albania v Iceland Eduardo Rea the current manager of the Albanian national football team. The following players have also been called up for the team within the last 12 months and are still available for selection. Lorik Kena is the most capped player in the history of Albania with 93 caps. Last update was on July 26, 2020. 
Source, Best Ranking Worst Ranking Best Mover Worst Mover Stamps of Albania, 2007. 60th Anniversary of Victory at the Balkan Cup The alternative name of the Albania national team that was used during this match. Thanks for watching.